Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. P channel. If you can be bothered watching this video, I'll tell you straight away, spoiler alert, Octopus app is bad. I said that in my first video and I'm saying again in this video, Octopus, Octopus app is bad. But, and yeah, that's it. I said it, you can go, that's it, video is finished. But if you're staying, thank you very much and let's carry on. So right, I have Octopus app downloaded from Google Play Store. That's all I did is just downloaded the app, not run once because to be honest, I don't want to really even keep this app on my phone. I just run it and I'm quickly going to do this video and straight away this app will go. So app is installed. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to a settings and the apps. We're going to try quickly find the Octopus app and see what permissions is asking right now. Because I've been told that this app increased in permission quantity or permissions is asking. It's been increased. OPQ Octopus app. Bingo. Here we are. Octopus app. Do, 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 permissions. From straight away, what I'm seeing right now, it is pretty much nearly similar, the same as was in my first video. So, body sensor, calendar, camera, contacts, location, microphone, SMS, storage, and telephone. It's like why, straight away, I, I, and again, I said the same thing in my previous video. Why this app asking these things? Why this app needs to know your location? Why this app wants to access your SMS messaging? Messaging? Why it needs to know your body sensor? I mean, your your pace, your speed, your runtime, your I don't know, heart monitor, why the hell it needs it, like telephone, why? But right now what is really, really intrigues me is these, uh, says additional permissions too. Okay, um, if, um, why this app needs to read your instant me messages and write instant messages, right, let me, for example, um, <coughs> how I understand instant messages, instant messages is something that WhatsApp does, Snapchat, Facebook Messenger does, what else? Skype. Skype can be instant message, Discord, instant, instant messaging service. So why this app requires to read and write these messages? So the way I understand, and obviously I might be incorrect here, but the way I understand while this app is running and somebody sends you a message over WhatsApp, this app will be able to read that message. Which is fine. Okay, let's say it's fine that this app can read that message. But what happens after this app actually detected your instant message? Where this mess where this data goes? Is it goes is it stays on your phone? Is it being sent back to developers? That is very shady. And uh, strange strange things so instant messages read and write why this app needs to this i don't know this is very very strange so next thing what we're going to do let's have a quick look how this app i actually not done that previously but let's have a look so this app is being downloaded how many times uh, i don't know and there is no website being logged for this developer so i don't know what it is customer at phoenix phoenix com. I think that's the domain, so let's have a quick look. PhoenixOS.com. Let's have a look if anything the okay one of the dodgy websites. So um, domain checker. Let's let's check. Can I somehow check uh, who's got the um, uh, domain checker? Who's got the domain? So let's say Phoenix OS is the domain www.phoenixos.com let's have a look checking mm, okay good news this premium domain is available and it's gonna cost me two thousand seven hundred and thirty three pounds and sixty pence and i can order phoenix.co.uk phoenix wales phoenix blah 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 blah, blah. okay so by the looks of it the domain is basically available for anyone to purchase fine okay next let's check the map so uh let's go quickly one can't even spell pronounce this so i'm just gonna Jing soho uh beijing so that's the building that's where the developer is okay can i open some map from here yes i can opens map hopefully it's not being displaying any right this is where the developer lives so beijing china 
room two three okay tower two so one of these towers so this is i think tower one this is might be tower two that's fine that's fine okay address looks legit but who's saying that actually they're actually well who says that developer actually has an office there this is just an address to me it's the same as i would say i live in i don't know third floor eiffel tower that's why my my crappy looking studio my crappy looking youtuber cave is or i am somewhere in uh, i don't know pyramid of giza or something like that i can basically say anything online or type anything online and well you're gonna take this for granted you're gonna think that is legit obviously what i'm even saying right now to you you can take this with a pinch of salt and think that what i'm saying is bullshit and just ignore my 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 warning to you but this is that's what i think it's it's too good to be true thing that it's it it is it is like this and uh, all this fine uh rate this app okay obviously i download this app so let's have a look how many people download it so 77,000 people basically said that's fine this app is brilliant there is some people saying that oh my god this app is amazing um what is it like one star two star three stars let's go once st hey, did i just saw five stars can you guys fix this getting banned props asap i shall i start my pra practice on the touch screen by the way thanks for putting the beginning up i paid that up it was totally worth is this even a pay it's free app what do you mean this guy paid for this app hold on can you guys fix this getting banned prob asap or shall i start my practice on the touch screen by the way thanks for put a notification in app i paid for app and it was totally worth it prince sway something four days ago okay lots of i can see is negative lately well it's hard to give this five star review since people are getting banned on pubg mobile for using it but i got to be honest it works incredibly well using it with bluetooth xbox controller mainly from latest now sorry so but it's got to be honest it works incredibly well using it with the bluetooth xbox one controller mainly from latest now so it's still a blast sorry john but actually majority of emulators detects xbox f one bluetooth controller even without any dodgy apps i done it i tried it look at my channel look at my videos i was testing this on the psp on nes or majority of android uh, of uh, old style classic emulators classic games emulators on android this works perfectly by using this app to do something that you already can without this app and even giving five stars oh my god legit legit for being free don't have to buy any hardware so it's to do as anyone overall performance but pubg mobile users should think before using this app i used to play PUBG more than a month but unlikely my account got banned for 10 years right so as you see there is a couple of comments mentioning PUBG and this is the reason why I decided to create this video just to tell you do not use Octopus app for playing mobile PUBG or to be honest any game because some of my viewers left a comment on my channel my videos and especially on my previous Octopus me at my opinion about Octopus app previous video and they said that they got banned on PUBG server because it started detecting that you're using a dodgy program so please do not do if you if you want to get a ban for 10 years my, my viewer said it's nine years anyway if you want to get a ban a big fat ban on your PUBG account please use it you more than well I'm, I'm more than happy just just go and use it it's up to you it's on your head you want to use it it's your game it's your life go and do whatever you like but looking from your comments this is awesome but if you play a pubg mobile you can be banned i start a match earlier and on the end there's is missing i banned temporarily for you authorized apps so as you can see banned 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 and this is and now new pubg account is banned okay 
so basically PUBG is kicking everyone out so do not use this do not use this app to play PUBG do not use this app to play anything especially that guy mr. John emulators already accepts the any well Xbox one controller for definitely I know there is some apps some some emulators that are a bit picky so my Moga power pro controller sometimes want to work sometimes don't but it's fine it's working perfectly and if you really really desperate of playing emulators on your Android but you don't have the the the, the, the Xbox one just go and get yourself the old Xbox 360 controller and use one of these OTG OTG cables which I'm gonna show you now USB type C OTG just search that just get one of those like 84p of your gear best like come on it's it's five pounds just go and buy this one and then you can then connect and control oh, come on Bluetooth any pretty much any Bluetooth controller will work with any emulator at certain level but it will work with any, any emulator and I tried all lots of them oh my god I, I just just stop using octopus app please stop using octopus app because the people get banned for using this app i take no responsibility if you're gonna go and use octopus app just do not come back and blame me because you got banned for nine years hundred years or rest of the may rest of it like thousand years until the sun burns down just don't do it just don't do it at like, like this guy says a google user avoid at all cost so just please do not use this app I'm begging you do not use this app because it's gonna bring a bad thing just do not use it and if you have on your phone just delete finish watching this video and delete this app off your phone forever and ever and ever this app is a bad thing to keep on your phone or or, or any Android device. Just uninstall now.